welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've been on and made a video. I kind of just, you know, took a break. I didn't forget about YouTube, but I went on a really nice long vacation. Um, I started a new job, which I've, you know, been kind of occupied with that. But today I wanted to come on and just show you some of my favorite um, lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses, all nude shades. And I found really, really good dupes that you can get from the drugstore that are very similar in color and texture. So if you're interested in something like that, then keep watching. So the first um, luxury name brand that I'm going to show you is Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in the shade Kim KW. It's this really, really pretty nude color. It's super creamy. I do have to reapply it a few times during the day. I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. And then the dupe that I found for it is from um, Soap and Glory. You can get it from Walgreens. I think Target sells it too. Um, this one is called Fifth Avenue Matte Lipstick. I'm going to show that. So, it's pretty similar in color. I know the light doesn't always help. But they're both really creamy. Same kind of, you know, shade in lipstick if that's something you're looking for. Kim KW is a really, really popular shade um, from Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of their staple um, shades. Two other shades that go really, really well with the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW um, is one from NYX Lingerie. Uh, and this is in the shade Lippy 07, and that's this one right here. And then this really pretty gloss, this nude gloss right next to it is from NYX, and this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. So I, I think these pair pretty well together. They're pretty similar in color. This lip gloss looks so pretty over the Charlotte Tilbury. Next, a good pair that I found that goes well together um, is the Stila Carmelo Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and also from Soap and Glory, the Sexy Mother Pucker Love O Beige Shine. Um, it is a shinier lipstick, but the shade is very similar and it feels a little bit creamier than the Stila Stay All Day. Sometimes liquid lipsticks get um, a little dry they can crackle a little bit so if you're somebody that really likes you know more moisture then I would recommend the soap and glory lipstick so as you can see liquid lipstick has a little bit more pigment but this one has a lot more moisture so this is the Stila liquid lipstick and this one is from soap and glory the um what is this shade level beige one of my favorite nude lipsticks is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk shade. Um, I found two dupes that go really well with this. So on my hand, I'm just going to show you. This one is the Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. This next one is from Maybelline. It's a comfort liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Spicy Blush. And then this one is more um, of just your traditional lipstick shade. And this one is from L'Oreal Paris and it's in the shade Ferris Nude, which is this one right here. So they're pretty similar in shade. I really, really like this one and I always pull for this one when I, you know, need a touch up or I forget one or the other. Um... But I just found those and I thought that they were pretty similar. And this one is the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in the shade Skin Deep. And the one that pairs really well with it is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. This one is the NYX Madeline. And this one is the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in the shade Skin Deep. If you're not looking for something that has the brown warm undertones, these are a little bit more pop of pink. Not bubblegum pink, but kind of borderline. So I picked a few, um, one from Bare Minerals, it's the matte um, liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Smooch. It's actually more of like a comfort matte lipstick. It doesn't crackle as much as some of the Stila ones do on me sometimes. Um, and the next one that I found that I really liked that is sort of similar to it, it's just more of like a fun color, um, is Elf, the matte lip color in the shade T Rose. This one I think is like 4 or $5 compared to something that's $18 to $25. 
Um, and a good lip liner that pairs really well with them is NYX um, lip liner in the shade Pale Pink. So I'm just going to show you that. This one is the Bare Mineral Smooch. This one is T Rose from e.l.f. And then this one is the Pale Pink lip liner from NYX. So they're kind of fun. You can mix them together. They're pretty. I mean, this one's a little bit more vibrant than these, but they're really fun to wear together. Um, and these two obviously are more on the more affordable side from e.l.f. and NYX. The next pair I'm going to show you, one is a lip and cheek um, tint to give you a little bit of color. The next one is just a lip gloss. So if you're going to wear one or the other, I mean, one you probably don't want to put on your cheeks if it's made just for lip gloss, but the shade is very similar. If you were to wear the luxury brand one on your lips more, then you might like the dupe um, as the lip gloss. This one is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Color for Lips and Cheeks. Um, it comes in really, really cute packaging. I love Bobbi Brown's packaging. Um, it's this really, really pretty, like, I almost think of it as like a cinnamon color, kind of brown, a little bit warm. Really, really pretty for the fall. Um, and then, man, and then... Um, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline, I feel like they're kind of similar, different lighting, may show different, um, might pull more warm or whatever, but this I thought paired the best. So this one is the um, Bobbi Brown, the Lip and Cheek Tint. It's really creamy. It's really, really pretty on the lips. So if you wanted to dupe for something like this, I really like the NYX Praline. That one, I mean, these colors are so pretty for the fall. A lot of the lip liners that I use are pretty universal with all of the nude colors that I usually wear. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is NYX Mauve and that's this one right here. I feel like it's a little similar to this next one. This next one is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Lip Cheat um, Lip Liner in the shade Pillow Talk. This next really pretty like orangey nude color is from NYX one of their lip liners and that's in the shade London and I feel like these two are fairly fairly similar and this one is in the shade from a brand called the balm a lot of my cos girls or estheticians um if you can get into like a salon centric or cosmoprof they have that brand there I even think they sell it at Kohl's um I'm not 100% the other places, but this one is the shade from The Balm. I'm not 100% sure what the shade is. It doesn't really say it on the packaging, um, but one that's very similar is from NYX, their lip liner in the shade Whip Caviar. And then this last one, this really pretty one, it goes very well with all my other ones. This is from Kylie Cosmetics, and it is in the shade Coco K. So, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with all my nude lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners. Thank you so much for watching and following along with all of my, my nude colors that I like to wear. I hope you found some of them kind of helpful if you like high end and if there was a dupe for something. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!